Hey folks, Ira here. Happy Monday. Thanks for tuning in for the Earthquake Report. Today is April the 4th, 2016. Today is also known as Hug a Newsman Day, National Walk to Work Day, Walk Around Things Day, School Librarian Day, and Tell a Lie Day. All right, Earthquake Report time. Let's go. As of 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time, we have experienced 205 earthquakes for the day, the most intense being a 5.3 that once again rattled Port Ulrey, Vanuatu. Chile experienced a 5.3, and the Solomon Islands clocked in a 5.0. We experienced some unusual movement today. First thing this morning, a 4.2 struck off the southern coast of Oregon. It was about 212 miles west of Bandon. 262 miles away from Roseburg and 278 miles west of Salem. Residents as far away as Portland reportedly felt the quake. So, if you felt anything at all, please tell us about it below. Roughly 200 miles outside of Guam, we witnessed a 4.8 strike Micronesia. We also registered a 4.8 that struck within the Indian Ocean at the Amsterdam Island. What is interesting about this is, New Amsterdam is a volcanic island that is partially active. It last erupted in 1792. That's interesting, all right. Earthquakes in this area aren't rare exactly, but they aren't exactly common either. In light of recent volcanic activity around the globe, I think we'll keep our eyes peeled for further movement in this area. If we zoom north, we see that Nepal registered a 4.2. Indonesia experienced three earthquakes today, a 4.6, 4.3 and a 4.2. Lambasa, Fiji, and Tonga both were shaken by a 4.9, and Vanuatu clocked in 4, the average magnitude being a 5.0. Hawaii has also continued to see movement. In fact, 13 earthquakes have struck the region today. The majority, 10 to be exact, had an epicenter near the volcano, the strongest there being a 2.2. Heading around the Ring of Fire, past the Bering Sea, we will notice that Alaska has been somewhat active today. Chignik Lake took the brunt of today's earthquakes, with four in total striking the area, all of which were fairly substantial. We had a 4.4, a 4.3, a 3.8, and a 3.4. Washington continues to experience above average seismic activity. Ten earthquakes experienced today. 70% of which struck Packwood. The remaining earthquake struck Quincy, which was the strongest in the Evergreen State today, at 1.7, a 0.9 that struck Sutton Valley, and a 0.4 in Amboy. Oregon experienced four thus far. Outside of the 4.2 we previously mentioned, we see that Baker City clocked in at 2.1, and Lakeview with a 1.4 and a 1.3. California has clocked in 72, the strongest of which struck Yucca Valley. This was a 2.1. The majority of the earthquakes fell right along the San Andreas Fault Line in the San Jacinto Fault Zone. A rather large swarm struck the creeping section of the San Andreas, and the second swarm struck the Anza section, also known as the Clark Fault, of the San Jacinto Fault Zone. Nevada experienced 28 earthquakes today, the largest being a 1.4 in Hawthorne. Utah clocked in two, Enterprise with a 1.3, and Santa Clara with a 0.6. Oklahoma racked in three, the average magnitude being a 2.6. Perry, Cherokee, and Cushing all being rattled. And finally, Caldwell, Kansas registered a 2.0. And that is it for the Earthquake Report. If you experienced an earthquake today or if you'd like to chat, please post below. We'd like to hear from you. Make certain to like and subscribe, share if you feel inclined, also, if you like the social media thing, you can link to us via the standard allotted social sites in the description. We'll end this report with a video feed from our favorite star. Have a great night, guys.